Hello everybody, I am Dr. Vineet Suri and I am a Senior Consultant Neurologist and the Coordinator of the Department of Neurosciences at the Indraprastha Apollo Hospital, Delhi. I am going to talk about a little about stroke and stroke or paralysis as we call it is a dysfunction of the brain because of an abnormality of the blood vessel. Stroke which is paralysis bhi bolte hain, happens because of an abnormal blood supply to the brain. So it can be what is called as infarction. Infarction is an ischemic stroke where there is stoppage of blockage or blockage of blood to a part of the brain and a part of the brain dies. This is called as ischemic stroke and there is an infarction that occurs. The other type of stroke is a bleeding into the brain which is called as brain hemorrhage and that happens because there is a rupture of a blood vessel and therefore there is blood seeping into the brain. Both these types of stroke cause certain symptoms and these symptoms are like sudden onset of slurring of speech, sudden onset of loss of vision in one eye, sudden onset of paralysis of one arm, one leg or sudden onset of vertigo or unsteadiness. One of the mnemonics to remember that a stroke has happened is what is called as FAST. FAST means face, arm, speech test. So if you are checking somebody and you ask the patient to smile and the face is getting crooked to one side, so the face is abnormal, there could be a stroke. Ask the patient to raise the arms and one arm is drifting down, that means that arm is weak, this patient also may be having a stroke. And ask the patient to speak and if the speech is slurred, or if the patient is not able to make legible words, then that also could be a stroke. So remember fast, face, arm, speech test. Although certain other symptoms like abrupt onset of headache, vomiting followed by unconsciousness could also be a, a, a type of hemorrhagic stroke that is like a brain hemorrhage. Now it is very important to understand that stroke is treatable and the treatment is very important to be offered fairly early. We call it as time is brain, which means that as time is passing, with every passing second, more and more neurons in the brain are getting affected. So it is very important that anybody who suffers from a stroke should be rushed to a hospital and treatment should be started at the hospital as early as possible. Remember, time is brain. So whenever there is a fast sign, when the patient has a face, arm, speech test positive, Time is brain, you have to rush the patient to a nearby hospital and treatment should also be started without any delay at the hospital. Now we call certain periods as the, as the golden hours. For ischemic stroke, the first golden hours are the 4.5 to 6 hours. Why we call it as golden hours is because if a blood vessel is blocked, then the doctor at the hospital can open that blockage by giving a drug called as intravenous thrombolytic agent, they can open that blood vessel, but this drug can only be given up to four and a half hours. And the earlier it is given, if it is given in the first one hour or first two hours, the results are much better. If you delay it beyond 4.5 hours, then the drug cannot be given. The other method that can be treated is by doing what is called as a mechanical thrombectomy. Here the doctors will do a like an angiography, they will take a catheter up from the thigh and take a catheter up into the brain and pull out the clot and open up the vessel. And this can be done up to six hours. Now, anybody who misses this window period of four and a half hours for getting an intravenous drug or six hours for getting a mechanical extraction of the clot will only be left with only supportive care. So it is very important that whenever anybody suffers stroke, remember time is brain, Remember how to recognize the stroke and remember that the golden hours are 4.5 hours to 6 hours. Beyond that, the stroke will then take its own course. For hemorrhagic stroke, where a hemorrhage has happened in the brain, here also time is, of, time is brain again here because it is very important for the doctors to control the bleeding. The first few hours, the first 6 to 12 hours, the bleeding may continue and doctors will give certain blood pressure control medication as well as if the patients are on some blood thinners then they may use certain drugs to reverse the blood thinning so that one can arrest the bleeding that is happening in the brain. So it is very important these first few hours, the first six hours, the first eight hours, 12 hours are extremely crucial and unfortunately what we find is that the awareness for stroke recognition is very poor. Patients even when they get an arm which is numb, they are not able to speak they try to see maybe my blood pressure is high, maybe my sugar is high and therefore they will just try to 
do home remedies or maybe go to the general practitioner waste time trying to get a ct scan it is very important that if there is a stroke like manifestation immediately rush to a hospital where one could within the golden period reverse that stroke to a major extent now when i say stroke is treatable i also say stroke is also preventable so basically to prevent stroke one should be changing lifestyle control your blood pressure control your diabetes control your cholesterol but do have a regular exercise program cut down on alcohol and uh, by, and no smoking smoking and tobacco which is something which is very widely used in india tobacco chewing as well as smoking both should be absolutely stopped there should be no smoking in uh, to to prevent uh, stroke occurrence